New Mexico State Route 53 is an 86-mile highway in western New Mexico that takes travelers from the Arizona State Line to historic Route 66 and Grants. As part of the Trail of the Ancients Scenic Byway, this route is a scenic alternative to I-40 located to the north. As we enter New Mexico from Arizona on Arizona Route 61, we also enter McKinley County and the Zuni Reservation. About 10 miles into our journey, we enter Zuni Pueblo. I regret not taking a detour through the Pueblo as there is a very historic mission church, Nuestra Sonora de Guadalupe, originally built in 1630. So we continue eastbound on Highway 53 and leave Zuni Pueblo, past Black Rock and finally out of the Zuni Reservation. After leaving the reservation, we enter the unincorporated town of Rama. It has a population of 505 and was established in 1876 as a Mormon missionary. It is only one of three remaining towns in New Mexico that was founded by Mormon missionaries. We take a very small detour off of Highway 53 and into town, where we take a quick look at the historic Hosea Emmer Ashcroft House, part of the Ashcroft Merrill Historic District. Back on Highway 53, we enter the Rama Navajo Indian Reservation, part of the Navajo Nation, and then enter Cibola County. Located within, but not part of the reservation, is the El Moro National Monument. We had hoped to walk a few trails and get a close-up look at historic inscription rock where both explorers and travelers over the centuries have left personal inscriptions that are still legible and easily viewed. After leaving El Moro National Monument, we enter the Cibola National Forest, El Malpais National Conservation Area, administered by the Bureau of Land Management, the El Malpais National Monument. It is in this area that we can see dormant volcanoes and cinder cones that form the lava flows that make up the National Monument. Located on private land within the National Monument, you'll find Bandera Ice Caves. Once again, it was our plan to visit the ice cave and ascend the Bandera Crater, but we realized it was too late in the day, so we continued our drive towards Grants. Also, while in the National Monument, we stopped at the Continental Divide for a quick pick, as it was my first time crossing the divide on land. After passing the Bandera Ice Cave, we spend the next few miles going in and out of the many nationally protected lands, and then get the opportunity to look out over the El Malpais lava fields towards the Acoma Pueblo, North Cibolita Mesa, and Mesa Negra. Finally, New Mexico 53 turns northward towards San Rafael and Grants, and we end our trip with Interstate 40 and Historic Route 66. I recently did some investigating into my channel's analytics and noticed that only 15% of my viewers are returning viewers and 95.6% of you are not subscribed to my channel. I'm currently in a campaign to reach 500 subscribers by the end of January 2024, which would be a huge milestone for me and Dashcam Drives. So if you do me a huge favor, please like, subscribe and hit that bell if you like this kind of content and want to be notified when I post new videos but most importantly enjoy the ride